This video will show you how you can send a lot of requests into a website or in a server using Python programming language. So in this way, you can stress out or you can slow down this server or even take it down completely using Python. Before starting, this video is only for testing and educational purpose. Make sure you have the right administration and permission to uh, do this on the website or in the particular server that you are testing this. Otherwise, this is not allowed and it, and it is unethical and don't do this on any other website. So first, make sure you have Python down Download it. Let's. Uh, you can download from the website here. Python 3 and also I'll use VS Code to edit the code. I'm going to test this in my website here, topnotch-programmer.com. I'll just test here on this website. You can go ahead and visit and try it too. I have already created a folder in my desktop, which is code. And inside this folder, I have a file stress.py. I am assuming that you know a little bit of Python, so I'll get straight into it. And also, if you want to get some Python knowledge and you want to learn more about Python and automation using Python, you can go ahead and join my course. You can find the link in the description. It's a course for you for anything that you need to get started and learn Python. So let's start with this. So first we have to import requests. Request is a package that can send different requests in a website and we, and we can get response from it. So I'll create a variable where I'll save URL and it's going to be here URL and I'll copy this URL here. And this is the URL that will send the request. And now I'll create a function to send the request. So def send request. This will not take any parameter. And first we'll put a try block here because we are sending into a server and we have to wait or to try first and and also use exceptions so try accept and inside the try we'll send a request where we're going to save it in a variable called response so response equal to request dot get is going to send a request to the url that we want here to the top notch programmer i want to check if this response is okay or not so with an if statement i'll check if response dot status code equal to 200 this means that the request is sent successfully so I'll print a message request sent successfully. And now if any error happens, we'll take the exception and I'll as E for a short name and I'll just print an error happened and I'll put here the error message plus E. So here we have the send function. So let's test it out first. I'll just send a request. Just I will put it only one time here. I'll save this file and open terminal or click on terminal, new terminal. This will open the integrated command line here on the VS code. And and now you can type dir to check if the file is here and it's inside here stress.py to start this code just type python stress.py and as you can see a request sent successfully so we sent only one request to this website but we don't want one request but we want a lot of requests i'll put here a new variable requests request numbers number equal to uh five to send a lot of requests i'll put a, a loop here for loop for uh, I in range range of request number request number so it's going to be repeated five times or the number that is in request we want to repeat this function here so here is the function and now if I save it and if I run again here it's going to send five successful requests so as you can see it's five times it's very slow it takes like half a second to send a request and but we don't want this because we want to send a lot faster right now our website is okay if you refresh it works okay and also if I want to test I can open command line and I can use ping command ping and the website here actually we have to remove HTTPS and as you can see we get a reply in a 54 milliseconds we get successful replies using ping so now let's go ahead and do something else here so now we're gonna use threading so threads I'm gonna import threading here so threading is a process actually we can use threads to do multiple processes multiple threads or multiple processes so we can re repeat this code or this function multiple times not just one time so now that we got imported threading uh, here I will remove this loop here and I'll create a thread threads uh, array it's gonna be an empty array where we're gonna save threads now we'll create a for loop and request I'm gonna repeat number of requests that we want and now we're gonna create a thread so a th I will save it in a variable t and threading dot thread inside the brackets we have a target and target is gonna be the function that we want to repeat all the time so this function is send request and now we created a thread so now I want to append or I want to put this thread inside the threads array and to do that just type threads array here dot append and 
append t and t dot start. We're going to start this thread. So now we have all the threads created and now we just want to join the threads and for thread in threads, we want to join all these threads. So thread dot join. And I think we are okay now. So now we're going to send the request in a very fast speed and we can do a lot of requests here. But for now, let's just test with five requests that we have here. So now let's start the code again. And you can see it's very, very fast, much faster than it was before, because before it was taking like almost half a second to send one request. But now we'll send in a, in a second or in a half second, we we'll send all five requests. And this is going to happen same if we put 15 here or 100 or 500, how many we want. So let's try out. So first I'll copy this website and I'll open a new incognito and I'll try if it loads perfect. Okay, it loads and it works. Now let's get back to the code and I will put 10 requests. Send 10 requests. Okay, 10 requests is done. It works. Uh, let's send 50 requests. Okay, as you can see, the requests are sending a lot slower now because the website is uh, very slow to handle. It's handling them very, very slow, but they are still working. So it's working perfect. We sent 50 requests and the website still works. Let's try with pink. So we have a successful response. Let's send more requests, 100. As you can see now, it's very, very much slower and it's stuck in the second request. Let's test the website using pink. We still get the response, but the request seems to stuck here. Let's try to load the website in an incognito and it looks like it's not even loading anymore. It looks like the code is doing its job and is stressing out the website. And yeah, actually it's done because as you can see the error establishing database connection, a problem happened. Let's try to again refresh. No, it doesn't work either. I will stop the script here. I'll just delete this terminal and and the script is stopped. So let's copy this. I'll create a new incognito just to show you guys. New incognito paste here. And the website is not loading. As you can see, the code did its job and it stressed out the server. So it almost took it down completely, this website. So it cannot load anymore, as you can see. So this was the video for today, guys. Hope you'll like it or hope you'll learn something. You can use this code to test out something and only for educational purpose. And as I told you before, if you are interested in learning Python and how to do this type of scripts and also a lot more scripts about social media automation, how to automate, how to send messages, how to get requests, how to scrape, how to get emails, phone numbers and a lot of stuff. You can join my course. You can find the link in the description. You can join and get the course now. So see you in the next video. Peace.